All right, y'all, I just got up, and you can tell by my tongue, I just really ain't with the shit today, okay? It's already bad enough that I had one of those waiting to exhale New Year's Eve where I was home alone with no man, no forever, no rich cars, no Hennessy, no nothing, just me and all my hopes and dreams. And them hoes couldn't even keep me warm last night. I had to get up and turn on my heat. I was watching uh, old episodes of Empire and Queen Sugar On Demand, I just really didn't feel like being a part of the New Year's Eve festivities. So cliche, so whatever, whatever. So I kind of tuned it out. My phone ringing off the chain. Everybody would know where I'm at. I just stayed in. So my cousin calls me. My cousin Tina from Huntsville, Alabama called me last night. And she's like inconsolable on the phone. I'm like, girl, what the fuck is going on? And then she was talking about, bitch, Mariah Carey live performance. So she telling me, because I ain't watched it. I, you know, I wasn't thinking nothing about it. I went to sleep. I woke up this morning with a fresh mind thinking I was going to have me a fresh day with a fresh new life and a fresh year. And I see y'all just want to open up 2017 with the bullshit. Okay? I'm like, Aunt Bertha, now this, this shit right here, what happened last night? That must be a scheme that Todd set up to bring us the bullshit. Listen. I know a whole bunch of somebody's got fired this morning. It is some heads and some asses rolling in New York. Because maybe from just from the little glimpse of what I've seen of Mariah Carey on this Mariah Carey's um, show she got on E, Mama don't play that. And not to mention, you know, Mama has took on this diva title, but she hasn't had a career this long letting shit like this slide. I don't now. Here's the thing that got me, though. I want to know, and let's not pretend like Mariah don't have no history of being drunk at award shows. I doubt she would get drunk before this. I want to know what had her judgment and her mind impaired because it would seem to me that she was a seasoned enough performer to have been able to got herself out of that pickle. Mariah was just like, fuck it. The, the music ain't like, baby, then you telling the crowd that you ain't coming in, y'all didn't have time to sound check, this, that, and the third. You looking defeated on stage. Let me tell you something. Had that been motherfucking Fantasia, Fantasia would have reached back, told the band to stop playing, and she would have gave them bitches a whole nasty piece of his ass on the sparrow. Yes, God, honey, but that's what the hell we gonna be singing this morning for Mariah Carey career. Somebody mama gonna be frying chicken, bitch, because we be getting ready to have a repass down to Madison Square Garden. Listen, New York people, New York people, uh, whatever network that's on, y'all done embarrassed this lady to the whole United States of the world. Like, and, and I imagine she solidified this role to do New Year's Eve to help promote the U.S. leg of the tour. Well, bitch... We must be touring new homes, honey, because you damn sure ain't getting none of my goddamn money. God forbid I go see you at Phillips Arena and one of the monitors go out. You just go walk your ass off the stage and keep my motherfucking money. I think the, <laughs> the only thing that's saving Mariah Carey ass right now is the fact that them people at Times Square did not have to pay to get in. But I'm sure the advertisers are pissed. Like Mariah Carey. And she's, you know, I watched her show last night when they were late one hour to the show in the U in, in Luxembourg because they didn't know about the time change. At the very end of the day, this probably isn't Mariah's fault. I'm 90% sure this isn't Mariah's fault. It's somebody on the support staff's fault, either on her side or the network side. However, Mariah will get the blame. All the headlines now say Mariah Carey's voice absent. Mariah Carey... I mean, Mariah Carey, at least Aretha Franklin sat her senile ass up there and pretended to know the damn words. Or Sissy Tyson, when she was singing Rolling in the Deep on the Late Show, she was just sitting there. Mariah, you wasn't doing nothing. And then Anthony was trying to save you and help you, and it was just making things worse because you supposed to be the leader of the team, but you wasn't giving them no order. So Anthony said, let me try to step in and do... I'm going to tell you one thing about it, though. Say what you want to say about them vocals, but them dancers was dancing their ass off. Oh, I, fuck. This is the Mariah Carey visual performance. 
This wasn't about the vocals. See, don't judge her on the Lord. I'm going to tell you what the real gag is, bitch. It's 20 below in goddamn New York and that bitch out there, the goddamn leotard with sequins on, um, with those long rectangle shaped ass legs. Mariah Carey, give it up, girl. See, had you been to got you a old nasty gown, bitch. Or some grown woman something with wore some, some, some opaque stockings or taupe. You know, real grown women's wear taupe. You needed you a dress with a slip and some stockings. You would have been warm. But no, listen, I'm dying to know how the hell they are going to get Mariah out of this. Like, she's probably going to have to do five performances back to back. Good Morning America, The View, The Real, Wendy Williams, and all of that to shake this situation. And I'm, I'm mostly mad at Mariah's poor sportsmanship. Like, the thing about it is, if she wasn't such a one-trick pony, she could have pulled it off. Because, mommy, if she knew how to cha-cha-cha to that Mardi Gras, she could have just danced. And did the TLC creep on. Oh, Lord, I'm in here tearing up my damn house. Wait a minute. Shit, shit wait. 2017, don't come here fucking with me. But I'm going to tell you something. This reminds me of a, a story. And I gained so much respect for Angie Stone. A couple of years ago, we was at this event in Atlanta called for Sisters Only. Big event, big arena. And they had all kind of performance. Now, the demographic of the women in the room was like 18 to like... 18 to like 30 was the core group of people. And so, you know, they had different people. Tamar performed. Everybody went up for Tamar because, of course, the younger kids went. Selena Johnson performed. They knew one or two of her songs. Angie Stone got on the stage and the crowd was just quiet. And it's not that Angie put on a bad performance. It was that the, 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 those kids, they didn't know her music. And so Angie had like a three-song set. And I remember standing on the side of the stage because we had just been talking before she went on. And at the end of song number one, when Angie realized the crowd was not feeling it, she was like, oh, y'all, I hate to do this to you, but my sound ain't right, so I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go right here. Y'all have a good one. Thank you. And she sashayed her ass off the stage. And, I'm, and I remember sitting here thinking, what's the shit wrong with her sound? Everything was perfect. Then it dawned on me. Angie said, no, God, you only as good as your last performance. And what I'm not going to have y'all do is leave here saying Angie Stone was boring and could not sing. So let me get my ass off this stage right now. See, Mariah, what you really should have did, since you already got the diva title, bitch, I would have walked off that motherfucking stage and told them hoes, I don't give two goddamns if it's live or not. I ain't coming back home till you fix my sound. Hell, let Ryan Seacrest sing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just should have been, you could tell there was a complete and utter lack of of rehearsal because yeah I mean you got somebody who's really good at improv and freestyling somebody should have jumped in and saved you um this just ain't good I mean I feel like I was watching Mariah Carey's unsung unfold in front of my eyes like Lord next thing we know TV one gonna be doing the Mariah Carey story using them same horrible actors that they did the Mickey Howard story with oh this just a Girl, Mariah, girl, you better go back and marry that old Shrek-looking ass man, bitch, because it looks like your ass ain't going to be selling too many more albums after this. Not to mention that step, stiff-ass two-step you were doing at your Vegas residency. Mariah, definitely, she represents my entire childhood and definitely is one of the best voices ever, but I'm a big fan of going out on top, mama, and it might be time for you to take your last bow. Go have some more children or hell. Anyway, girl, Happy New Year, 2017. I'm going to give you one pass, girl. But don't come over here fucking with me. Do not come over here fucking with me. And while I got y'all here, so many people wanted me to say something about Kim Burrell. Honestly, y'all, that's such low-hanging fruit at this point. The gap between the black church and gay people and she supposed to be the leader of the church and her fat ass is such low-hanging fruit. And I'm... So not. It's just too easy. It's too easy for me to wear her out. If you follow me long enough, you know how I feel about it and her. So it really ain't nothing to say. Anyway, Mariah Carey situation of blue high out the water. Anyway, all right now, pray for me, Kim Burrell. I told to y'all, oh, shit, don't pray for me, Kim Burrell. Pray for Mariah. Let me sit my ass back there. Kim Burrell is the damn uh, vocal person. Yeah, bitch, don't, you right. The gays, we doing all right. Don't pray for us, Argentina. Pray for Mariah Carey. <laughs> Talk to y'all later. Bye.